So you want to grow camellias? Every southern garden needs a camellia. They are, they speak the south. So there are three things I want you to remember when you decide that you do want to grow a camellia. Selection, location, and preparation. So if you want to make a statement, a grand statement for the holidays, you would choose a Yuletide camellia. As you can see, it's in all of its glory, Thanksgiving through New Year's. So a great selection if you want to make a statement. And if your space is more limited, you would go with a more dwarf variety, like the Shishi Gashura. This is full grown. And again, it's in its splendor November through January. So going from selection, you always want to make sure that you pick a plant to fit the space. The next consideration is location. That would have to do with your sun exposure. Now, people tend to put camellias in way too much shade. They not are always a shade-loving plant. These are Sisanqua camellias. This variety, if given the time of year, can be in full sun. So remember that on your location. Your japonicas are your more large leaf camellias, the ones that you see in bloom February, March, and April. And now it is very important that they're in afternoon shade. So by two or three o'clock, you want those beauties to be have some relief from that hot Texas sun. But again, make sure they get good, good morning light, not too much shade. And then of course, there's preparation. And as always, camellias need a well-drained soil. So dig your hole if you're unsure about your drainage. Fill it with water. See how long it takes the water to percolate out of the hole. That will tell you exactly how you need to amend. Do we need to add more shale or can we just use the soil complete with our soil? Plant high, give good irrigation. A good soak once a week in the hot summer months is adequate for a camellia. So don't be afraid, you gotta plant these beauties. So if you're having a little difficulty with your selection and location, remember you can always grow these guys in containers. And this is one variety I really wanted to point out to you uh, because it's so unique. This is called the quintessence. The quintessence is fragrant. You'll find that most camellias are not. Another beautiful aspect about growing this beauty in a container is it's weeping. So it will come up about two feet tall and then gently drape over the side of a container. Beautiful, beautiful plant. So remember, morning sun, afternoon shade, and that will take the preparation completely off the table. You're in control in a container. Another one that I really wanted to point out with you, you know, we talk often about using ornamentables or edibles in our landscape. This is a Camellia sinensis. It is the most widely grown Camellia in the world. It is your tea plant, yes. T-E-A. You can make black tea, oolong tea, green tea, anything you like with the harvest of this foliage. And what you do to prepare for any of the different types, it depends upon when you harvest. This is a moderately sized plant. It wants morning sun, afternoon shade here on the Gulf Coast. It's a delicate little white blossom. It is a delight to have in the landscape. And again, you can make your own tea. And here's a wonderful example of a gorgeous japonica camellia. So remember, don't be afraid, containers or in the ground, selection, location, and preparation.